thanks for joining. Uh, I'm Arnob. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, the EBSCO Docker image scanner. Uh, I'm going to give you an overall update uh, for the CubeOp scanner project and what new features we aim at and what we have done so far. So uh, I'm uh, also expecting suggestions and feedback from you for uh, the betterment of our EBSCO uh, Docker image scanner project. These are the uh, contents today I'll cover. Uh, firstly, I'll introduce uh, image scan request and image scan uh, reports. These are uh, some uh, CRD uh, of the scanner project. And then I will uh, show you then uh, how are we actually scanning uh, the images. And uh, then I will uh, explain uh, the architecture of our scanner project, uh, how it is connected with the uh, NAT server, the UI server, and et cetera, et cetera. Then I will go to uh, go for a live demo for the public and private Docker images. And uh, lastly, but not least, uh, lastly, I will cover the CVE scan report, uh, the dashboards, and uh, how it looks on the UIA uh, site. So uh, let's start. Uh, first thing first, how are we actually scanning? The uh, vulnerability reports, uh, the image scan vulnerability actually uh, uh, persist in uh, the uh, national vulnerability database. This is the NVD. So uh, here we can uh, find some vulnerability. And if we if some vulnerability is found on a particular image, then it will be uh, persisted into uh, this. The same kind of uh, site or uh, uh, package go where uh, some Go issues, Go vulnerability will be stored here. And uh, this is for the Red Hat. Uh, Distros and uh, this is uh, a site from Oracle. So uh, there are too many, and uh, this uh, vulnerability data is actually uh, up get updated uh, after six hours or something like that. And Trivi is uh, such tool that actually uses this vulnerability database to actually scan the Docker images. So this vulnerability database actually uh, stores the a common uh, common uh, image issues in there and uh, trivi is a tool which actually analyzes uh, those uh, vulnerability and uh, give a report like structure which uh, trivi is actually a cli tool so you can just uh, run uh, the cli command to actually uh, get the vulnerability reports for a image this kind of structure uh, maintains by, by trivi so we, uh, we use Trivi for our scanning. Let's uh, talk about the architecture first. Here is, uh, you can see the architecture is, has been shown. The left-hand side uh, is your cluster and uh, the right-hand side is our side uh, the, where the scanner backend is running and the, where the public uh, scan reports are stored. So. Firstly, you have to uh, install the UI server operator and scanner operator to your cluster, uh, obviously. And uh, the UI server, when uh, you install the UI server operator, you may uh, actually use the Prometheus, uh, enable the Prometheus to actually monitoring uh, the uh, reports uh, and other vulnerabilities to, uh, to work with. So after uh, UI server install, it watches for workloads on your cluster. So it watches uh, deployment, stateful set, port, uh, it is the workloads. And when it uh, finds uh, workloads uh, get updated or get newly created, it actually creates a uh, image scan request. Uh, this is uh, actually a CRE type on a scanner project. So uh, I will show you the types and uh, other things later. So it creates a, a image scan request based on the image of those workloads. And uh, the a scanner operator, uh, in the meantime, watches those image scan requests. And it uh, when it watches some image scan request, it uh, it can't determine the pub, it is public image or private image, right? So it uh, requests to the net server, which uh, our net server is running on uh, the Linode. So it, uh, it actually, uh, request the net server uh, to uh, crane the image so after craning it it can be issued that uh, it is a public image or or a private image or what it is so if it is uh, after fetching the request it's it, from the net stream it actually run the crane command and if the image is public so 
if it is a public image, so we can uh, uh, keep the report in the back packet of the cloud. So if it is a public image, we uh, scan, we actually scan uh, for the public image by using Trivi and then store the reports elsewhere. So we are currently um, storing the image scan reports to the uh, Linux, uh, and we can uh, move it from here, as, as you can see. So if it is a private uh, image, so we can uh, report the reports, uh, we can uh, get the reports in publicly. So if it is a, a private image, we can we can't uh, pull the private images from uh, uh, from other uh, other cluster. So if it is a private image, then a scanner backend actually uh, notify it uh, for private images to the scanner operator. So you can see you can uh, think of these two uh, as two different subcommand. So scanner backend determined uh, the image is private, then it notifies the scanner operator and uh, as you can see that uh, now we can create a job with that uh, image. So as uh, it is now in users cluster, so we can use this private image as uh, it is in the user cluster. So we have created a job and then this job will uh, utilize the TV subcommand to actually scan the private images. So this is the whole architecture. You need to uh, install the key UI server and scanner operator and uh, you uh, the other things will be automated so these workloads will be watched and uh, this image scan request will be created by the ui server operator and this scanner uh, operator actually uh, passes uh, the requests uh, to the net server and the scanner backend utilizes uh, fetches the request from the net server and it checked it is public or private and then if private it creates a job if public it uh, actually scan and upload the reports to the cloud bucket. So this is the structure. Let's uh, go to the demo. For the demo purpose, uh, you can install the KubeDB, but it is not necessary. You, it is a different project, as you, you can you know, that it is not uh, in, included in the KubeDB project for now. And uh, you need to install the Cube UI server, uh, and you need to install the scanner operator. These uh, these are old versions, so new version will be released uh, now. Uh, well, in in this month, this uh, this uh, tool is already installed in my cluster, uh, where I will show you the demo. It is a kind cluster. I've already uh, installed those. So, uh, firstly, uh, uh, you you know that image scan request will uh, you need don't need to create this uh, directly. This will be created by the UI server. But for the demo purpose, I am going to create this uh, directly for uh, for simplicity, so that we can uh, show that uh, easily. So I, firstly, I will uh, create a image scan request for public image, where uh, the image is uh, been set here. This is the image. And uh, then this is very simple YML, which is API version scanner.f.com v1 alpha one, which is in v1 alpha one state. The kind is image can request, and this is the image. So let's uh, apply it first. Okay. Going to apply the public one. Yes, it is. Okay, the image scan request pub has been created. So now uh, a image scan report will be generated with this name. So if I now get the same uh, image scan request again, which is pub. Now you can see that the page is current. So this has been already uh, generated. Uh, if it, it this phase can be uh, in progress where uh, the report generation is in pro process or outdated if the uh, image, if the report is older than six hours, because we set six hours as uh, it, the vulnerability databases are updated uh, in six hours. So here is the uh, image we have set. This is the tag and this is the visibility we have uh, set from the scanner operator. 
and uh, the phase is current. So the report has been generated and uh, the report name is this one and it has been last checked this uh, in this time. So if I now uh, get the image scan report, okay, here is the report name. This is the image scan report. Uh, you can see that it is a very big uh, structure here, okay. Just go to the app. Here it is. Uh, the kind is image scan report. Uh, the IPA version is same as the image scan request one uh, with this one, scanner to electro to one. And uh, the spec in the spec section, you can uh, see that which image scan uh, request is referred here. The image scan request referred the image name with this. And here is the status. So in uh, status dot report, you can see that the full uh, TV output is uh, going here. Here you can see that the artifact name is the image name, this one. This is a container image. These are some metadata from uh, the image manifest. You can see uh, here. You can uh, check those with crane manifest command, which you can utilize. And this is the image config. So the layers are has been uh, described here. So these are some layers, image config, this one. So here are the details. This this OS, you can get onto this for uh, each and every details. And important things are that in the result section, the vulnerabilities, uh, results dot vulnerabilities actually uh, contain those uh, image issues. Here you can see that uh, there is some problem here. Uh, it is uh, NVD, it is uh, taking a vulnerability from NVD and from Red Hat. And uh, the vulnerability ID is this one. So you can uh, get this vulnerability ID to, to actually show more details which actually happened with this uh, this uh, particular uh, patches of this image. So this is uh, image scan report. You can go through all of these one by one. These are some package name in which version this has been fixed. So this uh, fixed version can help you to actually uh, update your images and going through uh, th those uh, changes. These are some description you can also see. So it is image scan report and image scan uh, request for the public images. And uh, we, you can see the report, uh, I can show you here. This has been uh, keep, kept in uh, Linux. The buckets, uh, you can go to the buckets here. I have applied the MySQL uh, 8.31 and this is the hash and this is the report. So you can also access from here. As this is a public image, we can uh, upload the report publicly, correct? And now uh, I'm going to uh, show you what happens for the public uh, private image. Okay. This slide is for private image. Uh, here you can see that uh, this is same image can request uh, spec, and we are referring a pull secret from a cube ops namespace. So this is a private image, and we can't actually pull those images from our uh, backend side, which is here. The backend side is outside of the users cluster, so we can't pull them. In that case, our uh, we actually create a job. So first, let's create the private image, image pool secret. Okay, the secret is already here. It is created. All right. Now I'm going to apply the private one. What I have applied now? This is this one. So it is referring the pool secret. 
So this pool secret will be used to pull the uh, this private image. Now, uh, if I uh, get jobs from Ubox, here you can see that this scan image has been created, right? Okay. So if you do that, I want to show the YML to you. Here you can see um, that this is uh, the job has been created from the scanner operator. The owner reference is set to image scan request. And in that job, we actually uh, running some init containers here. In the init containers, we have updated the TV and we have uh, mounted those into uh, the job. And then we have utilized some script to actually uh, update and uh, cache those uh, TV versions. And then on, on this one, we are using the private test, which uh, which we I referred in the image scan request part. So this image is being used, and if you uh, now see here, here is uh, the details. This 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 one. So we are running TV and uh, utilizes this for creating the JSON with utilizing some script and. Lastly, uh, we are uh, in the container section. Let's we in the container section. We have uh, created the the sub command in the scanner project to upload the report. So we uh, uh, we are actually uh, updating the three B images, the final image databases, and then we after the scanning, generating the report dot JSON file and three B dot JSON file. Three B dot JSON file actually uh, holds the three B version, and report dot JSON file actually holds the uh, actual report uh, by generated by TV. So this uh, this sub command actually utilizes uh, this one. So it is uh, reading from the report file and it is uploading to the corresponding uh, things. Okay. Okay. Now, if I image get the image can request again. Image. This this private one. Okay, here you can see that the report has already been generated and it has been created eleven seventeen. So uh, just some minutes ago, five seventeen now, three minutes ago. So this job has been created, and you can already I have shown you the job YML, and here you can get the report. Image and the report. This is the report name. So here the same structure. And uh, important things is uh, this report has not been uh, uploaded to the uh, uh, object storage of layer because it is a private image. So so uh, image can request for uh, public and private images has been shown. Now. For the next slide, let's show it. Okay. For the next slide, uh, slide I'm going to show you the CV report. Uh, this is a kind. Uh, this is a standard database server actually. So here you can see the structure: request, response, type. And this extended database server uh, will be utilized by our UI site so that they can show you uh, the image parameter details easily. So this API version is uh, from different different API version uh, reports.scanner.devscore.com. Uh, the previous ones uh, were uh, scanner.devscore.com. This is uh, the request I am creating. So it refers to some port. Here you can see that the resource group is code and kind is port. This is the resource and version B1. So it is referring to a, 
Corvion port of uh, namespace uh, cube system with name etc. So if I uh, create the CVE report here, I can show you that. Okay. Uh, the name is this one CV report. Let's see first what here CVE report. I'm going to uh, create this one. Let's create. Okay. Here you can see that uh, I'm creating uh, the CV report and with this YML and its response actually uh, consists of all the details, important details of the vulnerability. So in this port, we, uh, we have used some images and these are the images we have used. After uh, this image metadata are written here, this, this is the metadata section. And here, uh, the scan reports has been uh, written here. So after uh, creating some CV report, if uh, the report has not still be generated, it will uh, it will be used by the UI server operator. Then UI server will actually check that image, will actually create a image scan request with that this image, and our scanner operator actually make the report. So after uh, these uh, steps the report will be generated and that will be patched here by the ui server operator so here you can see that uh, the scan status here this is the report rep and this is the tvdb version has been used so this uh, tvdb actually uh, used by uh, this version has, has been used for generating the report and here you can see that some uh, high level vulnerability and medium level vulnerability has been occurred and how many times that has been occurred. So these are uh, some important details you can you, you want to see for uh, uh, this, uh, this has been catered for the cluster admin actually. And uh, in the vulnerability section uh, on the image scan report that I have uh, shown previously that uh, that was very big, but in in this one, you can only uh, through, go through with this. This CVs has been occurred and how many times this has been occurred. And this is the vulnerability ID. So if you, uh, if you are interested to see a vulnerability, you can go to see that like this. You can just grab the ID and here you can see the details of uh, the image, uh, image vulnerability where this has been offered, or what are the references, it has been referred to a redhead, CV meter, etc, etc, and the severity is high. So these are, are the important details of the CV report, and, a, and this CV report and vulnerability has been uh, created for uh, utilizing the UI, UI site to actually easily monitor those by the cluster administrator. Let's go to the next slide. So uh, after uh, creating uh, those uh, image scan request and image scan report, how can actually we visualize it? So there are uh, some level of visualization. You can uh, you can visualize it through uh, Prometheus matrices. You can uh, visualize these uh, vulnerability, uh, the high level, uh, the medium level, these vulnerabilities. In, in Grafana chart, or you, you can also show uh, see them from F code UI. Let's see. Uh, let's show some matrices which has been uh, created on the UI by the UI server. And by the way, I have already uh, show you, uh, said that uh, when I installed UI server, I actually uh, enabled the Prometheus monitoring. So this has been already enabled. You can. During namespace. So alert manager Grafana, this uh, already enabled on the UI server. So if I now put forward the Grafana one, the Prometheus one, and uh, the UI server one, you can uh, go to this one first. Okay, let's go. So 
local host 90 is on. So if I grab this type, here you can see some uh, matrices has been created by the UI server and has been exposed. These are some gauge type matrices. And uh, the scanner xcode.com cluster CV occurrence. So this CV, how many, how many times this CV has been occurrence occurred to the cluster? This uh, this actually is it, the information about that. And here you can see the cluster CV occurrence total. How many high volumity is in my cluster now? How many low or medium volumity is my cluster now? This. So you can uh, go through with this, all of these things. This is the total, this is the namespace level. So this CV and this namespace. So in the, in the cube ops namespace, how many times this CV has been occurred? All those details, you can uh, see those. This is the occurrence total, this is the count total, and image CV total. So this one is uh, how many uh, how many vulnerabilities found inside this image with uh, severity critical, with severity high, blah blah. So you can uh, go to all these matrices to actually, or you can uh, go to Prometheus to visualize. Sorry, host this has been port forwarded here, the Prometheus one. And uh, the Grappano one has been for, for forwarded to 90.1. Okay. Scanner uh, like this, you can, you can go through with these uh, details. So there it is. And uh, in the Grappan dashboard, you can uh, also import the already made clusters. So if I go to here, uh, this this one, let's see, I want to uh, see for last three hours. So this graph actually shows the namespace level vulnerability in uh, the cube ops namespace. Here is the critical, uh, critical vulnerability uh, images. Here, the high, low, and those things. Also, uh, you can import some new uh, Grafana dashboard from our export Grafana dashboard URL. Let's see here. This is a public repo. So you can go to this site and grab some uh, dashboard JSON file. Let's see, uh, this one I have already imported. So let's see, I want to see the cluster level series. Okay. So just grab it and test it. So let's import. Here is the cluster level. So I want to see for last 30 minutes and this one. So uh, Grafana dashboards are, are really uh, amazing for uh, the cluster administrator. Also, uh, you can uh, see the app level series, which is pretty interesting. I can import it now here. Let's import, load it. Okay. Let's say uh, I have already some uh, ports in my demo space. I can show you that. Okay. I want to uh, use this MongoDB to. Uh, so this MongoDB's uh, group is QDB.com, and is MongoDB, the namespace is demo, there it is. So it uh, found the MGRS uh, in MongoDB, which is this one. And inside this, uh, uh, the, all the images has been uh, used. So you can also uh, go through the other dashboard to import the image level series you can import this one to actually show what is happening inside each of the image like this one 
let's import it. Then uh, check the uh, it. Let's see this one. So image level things will be uh, monitored here. And uh, this is uh, the app level series. So you have uh, applied some deployment or some uh, DB or some stateful set, these things. So uh, the uh, con actual uh, convented uh, CVs will be shown here. So here you can see that inside uh, this DB, some of the images like uh, Mongo init, uh, Mongo init, Mongo exporter, or uh, the Mongo itself, this image has been used. And this is the actual total uh, occurrence of all those images. Right. Let's go to the slide. So these are things you can visualize it. So this is that's all. So let's go to the question answer part. <coughs> if you have any question, you can unmute yourself and please go. So, looks like there is uh, no question. So, that's uh, all for today. Uh, in the future, uh, as a as future uh, works, we are uh, going to uh, solve those vulnerability issues and get, uh, get those on the UI so that you can, uh, sh you can see those uh, vulnerabilities visually in S-Code UI. Oh, by the way, I have all, I have didn't, show that so you can also go to the console export console and see the details here these are not so important so let's keep it for now so as a future work we're going to solve those vulnerability and that's it have a good day so with this we are concluding the webinar Thank you all for your lively participation. We hope to see you again next time. Our upcoming webinars are already scheduled on our website. Visit appscode.com slash webinar to register. Have a nice day.